Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm working in my art journal. I have this page. I shared this on Facebook, and I'll do another share in a minute. But I'm going to do this page in the front because there was one other page. And I just started out with some Tim Holtz uh, tissue paper. It's called Menagerie or no, Melange. Mel yeah, Melange tissue wrap. Anywho, I'm going to do kind of like washes. I'm trying to keep this lighter, a lot lighter than my other um, couple of pages were. I'm going to start with yellow and I'm just going to slip slap it in the middle as kind of like a sunshine. Um, I have an idea where I'm going with this. I might do another You Are My Sunshine. <clears throat> or even like a home sweet home kind of a combination of both I'm not sure but I'm um, going to now the yellow and blue make green which is kind of okay I'm gonna see what happens because um, if there's foliage in here you know like if I have a tree like that actually is a happy accident but um, so that might direct me in the way I want to go to with the design But I'm just I'm using a big brush and I'm kind of side loading it into these. These are just my um, Acrylic paints. I have Americana ceram coat that because just because I was a, um, a Decorative painter for years and I have a ton of paint But I've been looking into paint now the P PBO or something Oh gosh, they're iridescent, but they're like six bucks a tube or something, you know, or maybe even more, I forget. Uh, but uh, I am going to see if I can find stuff on sale and use coupons and get it little by little. I'm not going to rush into it. And I'm kind of liking this for the softness so far. I don't, I didn't want it... Um, you know what I have to add some pink I'm gonna add some pink what does pink and yellow probably orange ooh like an orangey that would be good because again if it's sunshine and um, like through the trees the sunshine that's what I'm kind of picturing that would be okay with me but I'm watering the paint down I really don't want it to be harsh like my other page my other page was so dark I loved it going into it. I mean, I really did. I thought it was, um, I love bright color. So it's, you know, it doesn't bother me. But um, at the end, it, once I've done everything to it, it kind of was a lot. So that looks pinkish. I think I kind of want to add some purple too. I don't know. Why not? It's looking kind of green over there now it's getting muddy you see it getting muddy like that doesn't even really look blue I have to wait until it dries I think before I add more color you can't really differentiate differentiary or it's looking um I'm tired I've been up early and we were in the pool like all day and so I think I'm lifting paint off I put the um tissue paper down with um, my new um, matte gel and it's a fluid I love it though I love it it seems to be working and it's so easy to use so I think that's gonna be my go-to thing kind of establishing now the products that I like um, there's still a few I want to try like I have um, a wish list going at um, Amazon and I put down um, crackle paste like it's a paste instead of crackle like paint or gel medium or something it's a paste so I really want to try that I'm gonna dry this and I'll be right back my battery is blinking but I decided I want to put a little gesso I probably should have gessoed first over some of the darker images but I'm gonna put this on and then I'll come back with color anyway and it'll uh, it'll be fine I'm just gonna gesso especially over the butterflies or anything that's kind of dark nothing's really dark right now it's not really popping out but this will also make 
things react differently um, because I didn't gesso the page first I just put the tissue tape paper right on um, this is a sketchbook so it's like I don't really know what pound paper or anything um, but it's I am loving this so far this is a moleskin um, sketchbook and I love the way it takes the paper takes the color takes everything and how it opens so um, all right I'll be right back okay so I dried the gesso and I'm going to go back in with some blue. I want to brighten up my sky. I lost a lot of the blue um, when I put the pink and yellow. Yeah, this is better. Um, what should I talk about? I don't know. I, I like um, when process videos have voiceovers and they're kind of sped up because see sometimes it takes longer to do a technique where you know in real time you're actually seeing me um, in real time and I'm talking in real time and you know I might be done before not done before I'm done talking I don't know what I'm saying all right that looks much better because <clears throat> I'm gonna put clouds up there I think I'm going to do a little more green. See now, you know what though? It is, I'm just going to do green along the bottom. Just along the bottom. I'm not going to walk it up too much. I just want to put it like dark. There, that's it. That's it, just along the bottom. Um, and then I'm thinking I might slip slap a little bit more color into the center. Just a little bit. But you know what? Let me get a baby wipe and see if I can wipe. Yeah. I just don't want it to look opaque, but I want it to look blue, you know? So it's kind of tricky. Then I just rub the blue in there. So I just got, I've, I can see some of the um, tissue paper there. I'm definitely going to add a little more pink. I love pink. Um, and look, it makes it purple. Pink and blue make purple. So that looks very cool. And I don't want it opaque, like I said. So I'm, I have a lot of water in my brush um, right up here. Make a little purple section in the sky. At the very end, I'll come back and I'll put um, blue just like along the edges. That'll be good. And I'm gonna put some yellow down in the ground area and kind of mix that and that'll, yellow and green make what? Orange maybe? Do they? It's just going to be brighter anyway, right over this butterfly. I don't know. Maybe a little bit more blue, like in the middle. That looks good. Because the green and blue mixed made it like into a teal color, or the yellow I mean. The yellow and blue made it into like a teal or green. I like that. Alright, I'm stopping. That's it for color. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. I'm going to dry this. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping, just a little. Because I don't, I think that's enough going on. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have an idea. I'm gonna do a home sweet home because I love home. I've cut out, this is a stamp by Stampendous. It was previously cut. Um, I think it's called Sketched House, Doodled House, something like that. I can find out. When I post it, I'll uh, let you know I made a tree. I've got some clouds and a sun and I'm gonna put home sweet home. Um, I've got this cool flower stamp that I'm going to add here for a little something. This is a Diane Reevely, I'm pretty sure. 
Ranger, yeah, Diane Reevely. Anywho, so let me do a little more to the background. I'm gonna grab my stencils, a couple of stencils, just a couple. I'm not gonna be as, I'm not gonna put everything on here but the kitchen sink like I did on my other ones. I'm gonna do some dots. I like dots a lot. I'm gonna bring some of the yellow. I have this cut and dry foam, what is this called? Cut and, yeah, cut and dry foam by Ranger. No, it's Ink Centrals I have. I think Ranger makes it too. Um, but I had this in my stash. And then, of course, on the same day I see Rach, 000113, something like that. She was using it and also Joggles. The lady from Joggles, who I, I love her. She, she describes her products really well. Um, so I got mine out and have been using it, and I like how it works. So I think I'm going to put my sun over there. So that's why I put a little yellow. I'm going to put a couple over here. A couple in the middle. Got to kind of put them everywhere. But look how easily that goes on. I love it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going crazy. I'm going to put some... What should I do? Some more stenciling, a little bit more stenciling. Oh, I have to do some stamping, but I wanted to wait till um, I did a little more stenciling. I'm gonna stencil some of these. No, I'm not gonna do flowers. I'm gonna go away and come back with the proper stencil. Where is my, I have a, um, here it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, these three. I got these from um, Michael's the other day. I kind of like these swirlies for wind. What? I kind of like that. I have more dots. They're littler. And I have this uh, chevronish looking pattern. What should I do? I kind of want to try these swirlies. But I think it's going to be... Um, hard to get it to what color should I use oh gold <gasps> I'm gonna use gold yeah I'm gonna use gold I love a you know what I could use my white pearl no I'm gonna use gold I love gold so I'm just taking another and this is I use oops I just used that one I used these earlier on my other page but I you know I blotted them off they're good I'm gonna dab that in gold Kind of blot it and see what we can do with this. See what happens. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. I think it looks like gold wind. It's going to look like wind. <gasps> oh, cool! It's it's definitely getting under the um the stencil. Like it's so I'm going to try and pounce a little more. I'm just going to pounce so I don't. Because I really like the rubbing technique. Look at that. Cool. I'm going to put this all over. Um, because I'm going to cover it up, most of it. And so if you just see a hint of the shimmer, that'll be plenty. I like it. I mean, the swirlies are good. Like, I'm trying to think of it as, a, like, wind. Like, when I make a Zentangle pattern my sky has swirlies in it because it represents wind. Need more paint. Um, so after this I'm going to just do some stamping and then I'm going to um, use my matte medium and put my focal pieces down. And I think that's it, because I didn't want to make this too, too much. So you can't really, it's just a little hint of yellow and shine. I'm liking it. You can still see the pink. I'm going to stop, change my battery, and I'll be right, I'm going to dry this, and I'll be right back. Okay, one more thing I want to do is, oh dear, my white. I love to put white into the background with circles like these little what was I using I had the cap of my little glimmer mist so I just used the cap 
and I take a little water and this is very dirty water actually I need to change my water and I make a wet puddle of white and I just move it around take this and put it in the puddle and then make some circles I love it this is fun like I never knew how fun it was to just make circles with a lid I never knew that I never thought about it and then I saw someone do it and of course I thought I want to try that and I copied <gasps> I love it love it love it and then I do like to um, do a smaller version as well so I use just like a pen cap I'm just grabbing this one because it's oops, this one because it's right here and I like the size of it and then I put a couple of them on here just like that oh that one was like a bubble see how it stayed a bubble can you see that and it like came out oh I did another one cool so you know that's it I kind of went crazy with the white but I like it now I'm gonna do stamping uh, I'm gonna let this dry too all right so now I'm excited we're getting to the good stuff Cool, see it's all dry and it's definitely a lighter background. You can still see a lot of the um, tissue wrap. So I'm very happy I didn't overdo it with darkness. Um, I still want to stamp. I'm using my, let's see, archival. I'm going to use my old ink pad because I don't, I got a new one but I don't want it to be that dark. And I have my go-to's. I always do my hearts and I always do my script. I love these. These are just my little cheesy Michaels ones that um, I think they were recollections. So I'm just going to add some script here and there. And you can see it on top of... I love it. I think that looks good. I don't want too much. Now I'm going to do... Oh, you know what I love too? And this is again the Diane Reevely. I love this. Um, these little circles. I don't know why, but they just really make me happy. So they're going to go on here too. I like them. And that's all I need to know. But I should be putting them where there's nothing there yet. I like that. Um, here. And I think that's it. So see, not too much. Hopefully you can see. And last but not least, I'm going to do some hearts. And that's going to be it for stamping. Because I don't want to overdo it. I want the focal focal pieces to be the focal pieces so some hearts like here and I stamp these in red I just like them in red because hearts are red to me you know so kind of went a little crazy with the hearts but I like them so I that's it if I do any more I feel like it gets too much so that's it I'm very pleased now I'm going to place some of these um, pieces on my page and kind of see what I'm thinking uh, I want the Sun to be poking out of the clouds like that and I think I'm gonna put home sweet home over here and I'm going to have the house kind of here with a tree and the tree can be kind of off the, going off the page a little I don't mind but I want to save room for these little flowers I'm going to stamp these on either side and make like a little hill I think I'm going to make two hills so I think that's my placement I'll do the words after 
I'll decide what kind of font I'm going to use for that. But I'm using this Liquitex matte medium and it's the fluid F. So I love it. And I'm just actually squirting it right on my, um, my craft sheet, which is kind of getting old and but I don't care, it still works. And I just had this, I've had this brush in here all day. I did a piece this morning and I never cleaned my water. I think that's bad. But I forgive me. I'm gonna try and just move this to the side. I'm gonna put my sun in the corner. Right there. I like this stuff a lot. It's very liquid. I'm going to put this right here over top of it. I mean, proportion wise, it's probably way too big. But you guys know my style is whimsical. I've decided I'm going to give in and just be what it is, what it is. Sometimes when you put it in the creases, you just kind of bend the page a little, make sure it's gonna fold and that's not oop, I could have actually put a whole um, cloud there and cut it after and that's probably what I should have done just trying to bend the page and make sure it's stuck okay then I'm gonna see this is too big I want to make this cloud smaller I'm gonna pull it off I'm gonna get I'm gonna make a different cloud I want a smaller cloud there it's way too big that's my opinion. I'm going to put that right there. And just having the matte medium on the page is great for um, later on when I want to use my um, Faber-Castell pit pens to shade. It slides on that matte medium so well. Um, I also used, um, I think it's a Sakura, uh, what are they called? I'm going to put this right here, kind of in front of the tree. It's a wonky house, so I'm not worrying about it's crooked. Um, it's a Sakura micro, micro, what is it? Micron. But this is the graphic number one. That's what I um, drew my um, tree with and my clouds with. I'm going to draw another cloud now, so I'll show you. Um, but that's basically it until I put my words on. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to push that out of the way and pull my paper into the picture here and make another cloud. I want it smaller. I'm going to just go... Yeah, I like this size much better. I mean, it's pretty, um, the shape of it isn't anything any, any interesting, but it's just a basic cloud shape. Um, quickly, see, this is why uh, people speed up the video, because you don't want to watch me cut this out. And especially because I'm going so slow. I have all types of stuff on my scissors. I can see paint and goop. These are just some that I got. I think these are recollections. Um, but they're getting so goopy. I really should clean them. But I think this is going to be a more appropriate size cloud. I just want it to look a little far off. Yeah, I like that better. It's smaller. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, put him right over where the other one was because I kind of did mess up the sun like when I pulled the paper off the sun got um, the paper got pilled a little so that's it I'm going to let that dry um, and then I'm going to paint them and I'm probably going to use my pearl paints for the clouds, my white pearl. I'm going to paint the house and the tree. Um, so I'm going to gather up my paints, dry the page, and I'll be right back. So I want to write Home Sweet Home, and I decided to use my stamps. 
And these are the ones, guys, that I don't remember where I got them. I got them four years ago, I think. Um, Lori Micah, I took a class. Let me see what year it was. Twelve. Three years ago. And I don't remember where. I got to find out that because the reference in her book doesn't, um, it doesn't come up online. So I've been using these for clay. But I also use them for stamping. You just got to make sure you give good pressure. That looks pretty good. Home sweet home. So I'm going to do home twice. One, one more time. Let me see if I can get it really see because I'm using them for clay. I don't know. That one looks better, but it's crooked. That one's going to be good. Yeah. So home, I like the that one. And I'm using my new juicy uh, ink pad. I like those too. So then I have sweet is, where did I put it? Because it's SW. See, I hate to make you wait, but I'm such a, here's SW, and then here's an E, E-T, right? Where did I put my other E-T? Um, here's the other E, and then the T. Oh, I see a T here, so I'll take this T. Sweet home. Crooked. Come on, Sarah, line it up. Good. I'm going to use that one. I like that one. Let me cover my ink. I'm going to cut these out. And then we're going to make some lines, like hill lines and stuff, because then I'm going to paint. All right, be right back. I don't know what happened. Maybe I didn't hit record or my battery already died. I don't know. But I am painting some green. I've, I've put some um, pencil lines on the page to indicate where I, wanna, um, where I wanted to put some landscape lines in. Um, and I add water to my paint. This is acrylic paint and I side load. That's just me. I um, I learned to paint that way so I stick with it and I'm putting some shading kind of where it would be darkest um, because of the shadows and stuff of the uh, objects on the page. So I'm kind of turning my page to get where I want to be to indicate a shadow. I didn't want to get on the house, but see that's what's so great about matte medium. Um, you can push the paint away. So I've got an indication here that there's a hill. The house is kind of sitting on a little hill. There's a path here. There's another hill behind kind of like that. And I am going to put dark or green all the way along the bottom, too. And kind of ground the page, I guess an artist would say. And just go right over that to kind of ground it. So that's enough with green for now. Then I'm going to go to my blue. And I'm going to go behind the hills with my blue. Um using the same blue that I did the sky and everything, but I'm going to put it behind the hill this time. Kind of like the sky is reflecting from behind the hill. So I'm going to pull this here and here and kind of bring it up around this hill over this hill I should say. I'm gonna make the lines, I'm gonna outline everything with black pen. So that looks kind of cool. I might hit that with some yellow too. Let me turn the piece and have a look at it and see where I'm going. See because it it kind of seems like maybe I should have done pink there. 
but I think I'm going to shade under things a little bit more with blue. That's what I'm thinking. We're going to try it, and I'm going to see what it looks like, and I think it's going to look good. Excuse my tripod, and the, you know, this is just my setup right now. Maybe I have to get, I want to upgrade. We'll see. Christmas isn't too far away, guys. I'm going to see if I can get something that's uh, maybe mounted above me that I can zoom in with. So I'm just pulling some blue around the objects now and seeing if I can... I think that looks good. I think I'm accomplishing what I wanted to accomplish. Just pulling a little more blue in because I, I don't want it to be... I'm going to slip slap some more blue too. Don't worry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm on to something here. I'm going to put some of this under the cloud. I actually am going to put more yellow behind the sun. But right for now, I'm just going to go under this cloud and slip slap a little more. I'm going to go under this cloud. That stamping looks so pretty. There was plenty of blue up there, actually. I think I'll go around the tree, like on the top of the tree in the sky part, you know, because I lost a little bit of the blue when I was um, putting the pink and the yellow, which I love, and that's kind of just like the shines of a sunset or something, you know what I'm saying? And I got blue on the house, but I don't mind. I'm going to paint the house purple. I'm just going to come out a little more with some more blue. And I think I'm going to stop. I like that. I'm going to highlight the tops of the hills. Alright, so I'm going to put a little yellow behind the sun. Here. like a glow. I like that. And then I'm going to actually paint the sun yellow right here. That looks good. I'm going to Paint the what other colors I have green out. I'm gonna do the tree while I have this green out. I'm going to just put a wash of color over the whole thing. Especially where it should be behind the house. It should be dark over there. So I'm gonna kinda Pick up some over here. Make that the lighter side and this the darker side. I should have done that, but I'm rushing because guess what? My battery is blinking. I don't understand. I think I think this camera is like that. It's dying on me. My batteries are dying. You know, like they're not um, really supporting. They're not working. So. It's kind of ridiculous. I mean, they last like five minutes. So I'm just putting darkness like um, behind these little areas. See, I'm not holding it in the right direction, so I'm really being sloppy about this because my book is like over there. Don't worry, I'll show you how I highlight everything too. It looks pretty cool. Um, oops, water. I am going to put some red on my star and my door. This is a pearl paint by Martha Stewart, Hollyberry, and I got it 
I think that was one of the ones on clearance that started the whole thing. I'm going to put this on my heart like this. I was kind of trying to keep, I'm getting my mop, I was trying to keep the this side of it lighter than that side because that's where the sun's coming from this way. It's kind of, you know, that looks good. And then I'm going to do the door the same way. So I'm just going to go down this side of the door and along the bottom. Love it. I'm going to do the window yellow like there's a light on inside. This is actually, did I do a tutorial on this ATC? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. I might have, but I'm not positive. Kind of trying to pull away a little. I need brown for the trunk. I'm going to put pearl there. I'm going to do the house purple and the roof. I got to get some charcoal, but I have purple. I'm going to do that. Go in. And if it shuts off, I think I have to charge my batteries because, oh, I have one in the thing. My charger is right down at my feet. I have it plugged in. I'm looking for the white pearl. Well, let's just go purple. Um, that way it's nice and convenient. As, as one battery dies, I just um, <clears throat> get another one. So where's my purple? Right here. I'm going to go under the roof. Kind of get it out of the window. <coughs> Where else do I want to go? <coughs> the sun's coming that way. I'm going to go down this side of the window and under the window. I should kind of just do a wash all over it, but I like to try and just leave some of that. I like to leave the... um the words showing on the paper and stuff, so I'm just kind of hit and missing. That looks good. I like it. I want it to be hit and missy. Um, I have white. All right. And it's actually cooling down out right now, but it was very, very hot here in New Jersey today. We were in the pool most of the day. My husband does such a good job with the pool. He is the master of chemical. But it's, it's amazing to have a pool because, especially where we live, we're like out in the woods. And in, the, in these heat waves, it gets like it's 90 degrees it's ridiculous so I'm putting this white pearl paint all over my clouds it looks so pretty and I'm gonna put some on this side of my Sun the light side and I'm gonna put some well for now I'm gonna leave let that dry and um, I was going to put it, I am going to put it there, this little section here, but I need to do my roof, but I'm going to do this little, oops, I just touched it, I think this is a mess, um, right here, this little rickrack almost area of the house, of the roof. So that'll shine, and maybe this part of the heart, just brighten it up 
Also the window. These are all pearls so far. Well, not the green. The green is not pearl, but I'm just going to put it there on the window. Um, that's good. I think I'm going to stamp in a minute. I have to do the brown and the roof, so I have to get up and go get those. And I'll be right back. We'll see how long this one lasts, this battery. I'm going to do Burnt Sienna. I like Burnt Sienna. I could probably use a couple colors of brown, like a Burnt Umber and a Burnt Sienna for this tree trunk, but I'm just going to do it dark underneath there and go down the left side of it and leave it like kind of chippy choppy. I picked up the paint. Because um, I want to see the lettering. I want to see. Um, going to do the roof with charcoal it's just a like a gray black instead of being pitch black because I do want it to be washy looking like you know transparent ish and to do this I will just kind of go in here I'm going to pull it out with my mop because I have plenty of water on the surface. I can soften it and it stays dark in the um, in the triangle areas. Like I got to turn this. Sorry, guys. Hopefully, I'm in the shot. But yeah, I'll try to talk to Joe about a different setup and see what we can come up with. Um, I think it's called Creative Art Creat Collaboration now. I think that's what it's called. The YouTube channel for the hashtags that we're going to be doing. Um, I'm hoping that they do some webinars and things for us. How to uh, approach making videos a little bit more professionally and things like that. Um, because, uh, a lot of us just wing it, you know, and, um, it's nice to, to be able to put out a quality video. I like watching quality videos, so I would like to, um, have a quality video. This little camera does a great job. It's a, um, it is a Canon Elf, and it's an HD camera, so that's good. See, I'm getting a little picky here, but I just think that looks cool. And I will um, draw the lines, too. Uh, what else? I wanted to do my path, so I'm going to use the, um, the raw sienna, or burnt sienna, I'm sorry, for the path, too. I forgot. So I'm just going to go right in front of the door and down both sides. of the path. I'll come back over it because I kind of pulled all the paint off. <laughs> what else? It's looking good. Once we add all the details and stuff it'll be cool but I'm gonna just I think I have some of a bright green. Yeah, apple green. I'm gonna highlight the tops of the hills. I also pulled some black green and I can really darken the bottom so we'll see how that goes because I could probably just use my um my fabric has to tell big brushes and that will probably be all I need to do but I think I want to try it with paint because I am a painter at heart like well I started out that way anyway before I found all this other good stuff I was a painter so that brightened that hill up a little bit apple green. I am going to pull it down this hill too. There was way too much water in my brush that time. It's not, it's a little different doing a tutorial or uh, filming myself because I would be moving things around and making sure I can 
get the right angle so that's kind of my excuse for it not being everything it should be um, that being said I think it's still awfully cool um, this is kind of right here but so you can see that right I can all right let's have a look I'm going to darken it up in a few places, but I think we're really looking good. I can probably add stamping. I'm going to stamp those flowers and see what happens. I hope I don't screw the whole thing up. Actually, because I just want to put these flowers like right on both sides of the house in front of the tree. And maybe um, I'll do a few. Yeah, because I'm going to put home sweet home right here. Home sweet home. Yeah, so I don't really need flowers. They'll just be flowers right here. I think that'll look good. Um, I gotta dry it, I think, before I stamp. Yeah, I'm gonna dry it. Maybe I'll just let you hear me dry it. Or uh, no, we're at five minutes. I'll go away. Okay, after you do all that work, this is where you really hope things don't go awry. That is a cool little stamp though. I really hope this works because see this is the first page in here. I think I should stick something under here. I'm going to put my, mix this book under here. Hold on guys, I'm going to make you dizzy. I'm going to try it with this. Cute. They're giant flowers, but they're whimsical, and you know that's what I am. A bit of whimsical. Oh, I like them. I'm going to put some over here, too. I am. I tell you I am. Yeah, I am. I'm just going to do them right here. I like them. Oh, they're crooked. Ugh. It's all right. I like them. I think it's good. Now that ink really needs to dry too, but I'm going to paint those flowers too. So let's see what color I should do that. Um, everything's going to look so much better when I outline it. Um, everything too. So these are crooked, but that's okay. Because you know what? I will it will be fantastic. This is going to be so awesome. I'm going to do a line with, I can't find my pens. Here it is. My number one Micron graph, Pigma Graphic One. I am going to do the hill line. I didn't, I wanted the kind of well, I'm going to paint those anyway, so that's okay. I'm going to do this line, this line, can you see me? Yeah. Cool. At least we can kind of see the ground now. Then I'm going to put home sweet home. Oh, but I could put like grass here too. Like a little. I like to make these little grass squiggles. Um. Yep, 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 yep. So that's really the last thing I'm going to do, is color the flowers. What color should they be? I think yellow. Orange. Hmm. I don't know, maybe I should do more of the red. Because I've used, I should pull that color. Um. 
Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I could actually put Home Sweet Home like maybe up here in the sky. And I could put something else. I could have put something over here, but this is where I planned on putting the words. So this is where I'm putting them. Yeah, I'm putting them here. Home Sweet. That's where I'm going to put them. Yep. All right. So what color should we paint? The, uh, and I'm just going to use a little round brush, my number three round. It's my go-to round brush. But I don't want them um, opaque again. So I'm really going to mix, like, thin this paint down. The Martha Stewart pearl paint. Um, and just kind of color them in. Very, very easy to do. I'm going to be ordering the Twinkling H2O's. Um, these two, the glazes, I'm going to get a set of these, the silks, the shimmering glazes. I can't wait. When I see Rach playing with those, I am so jealous. Because I love glitter. Oh, I cannot see worth a dang. Because it's so shiny. Um, but yeah. And that's the thing, what I think. I was painting these canvases and ATCs. ATCs are still good, but at least this is a bit of a bigger surface. Um, but the canvases, you know, you feel like you have to make a masterpiece every time. But this way, I can just close the book. I don't have to show you guys either if I don't want to. Um, because it's playtime. This is playing with mediums and color and shine. Things that I love. So, hopefully, if you guys aren't journal, you're not struggling and frustrated you're just doing it because it's fun and as that should only be the only reason that you do it um i named my youtube channel my serenity crafts because crafts are my serenity they they make me happy they give me peace it's like meditation um and so please don't do it if you don't like it. Like there are some things I've tried that I probably will never do again. Um, it's just, you know, I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. I think I'm going to make these um, yellow. I want to make these little flowers yellow. Yeah, so like resin, I don't know unless I do it with another medium. I'm going to put the centers yellow. Like Lynn's Crafts. Lynn, she does polymer clay and she puts resin over her pieces, some of her pieces. So that's what I mean. Like if you combine it and use it as, um, like she's just shining up her, uh, her jewelry pieces with resin. Um, what else? Stuff like that. Like the lister's got a list. I am a list maker, but I'm not gonna just make lists to make lists. Like I thought it was cool to for kind of like to look back and see uh what was going on at the time, how I felt about things, but um I'm not I'm not doing it. Like it feels like it feels like I have to do it type thing, so I don't want to, it's, if it's not fun is what I'm saying, don't do it if it's not fun. Um, that's my opinion. I am doing this for fun only, and if, you know, if not, it would be like a job, and that's what I'm, that's why I'm like such a terrible businesswoman. Um, I have nothing in my Etsy store right now. I've never, I never renewed it when things expire. I think you can, you only, I don't even know how long they stay in there. Like that's how little attention I pay to it. It's terrible. Um, but 
I just did it as a little as a way to share what I make make a little money so I can buy more stuff that's what I'm in it for more stuff um but you know it it should really be fun if it isn't fun come on what are we doing it for I am going to now um, I need to there's some leaves here and there are little flowers I think I want to make them pink just like light pink do I have a I have a Martha Stewart pink pink pearl um, so yeah I that's my advice especially with art journaling all the mixed media stuff was new to me it took a minute it took a minute for me I needed I'm used to the type of painting that I do decorative painting is uh, someone else's design so I am not thinking at all I say I'm not thinking I don't have to I just have to know what color and where to put it and that works for me I am not designing the piece it was designed already and so I need a process like there's a process there so that's where I struggled a little bit with mixed media until I figured out what my process was going to be the steps that I like to take to get a piece completed it was a struggle it was a little bit frustrating it didn't some of the pieces didn't look right they looked very kiddish or you know extremely whimsical with no real um, rhyme or reason to them and so that's it took a minute but I figured it out I really really like this piece it's coming together I'm gonna just do ah oh, you know what I am going to use every chance I get I try to use this color wherever it is oh man <laughs> here it is the halo blue gold by Limber by Jacquard it's the color that I use to um, paint my butterflies I'm um, sorry my dragonfly wings and it is like a blue green and it's so pretty I don't know if I'm in the shadow I'm in the shadow I'll go down a little um, and there's such a shine from my lights too so I obviously have I could do some tweaking oh where is it it's in the here okay oh dear um with my setup so be advised I am aware that of that fact I don't proclaim to be a videographer or a movie maker in any shape or fashion I am only in it for fun and you can always hit stop move on to the next video that's what I do I honestly do and I don't hold it against anybody I take what I need and I leave the rest and that is that look how pretty OMG you know what that just makes me happy so we're pretty much done I'm going to shade one more time with this dark dark green and then I'm going to outline everything with a black pen and I think we're going to be done. I'm going to let that dry a little bit but I'm going to outline, I mean um, shade with this black green and it's a dark dark green but I'm going to see if this is what I want to do. I'm going to get my big angle brush. This is a, a 5 8 inch angle American Painter. I don't even think Michaels or AC Moore sell them anymore, but for the price, they were, they were a good brush. Um, I because I beat up my brushes, I beat up everything. I'm very rough, so for the price, I like them. Now I'm gonna move this so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, this is a bit dark. I think it might be too dark. Actually, I don't mind it. 
I don't mind it. I think it looks okay. Definitely right there it was needed because um, it's behind the hill. So I'm going to just go lightly with it and see what we can do. Like right here. And definitely up against the house. I like that. That looks great. I'm going to do it down the path here. I'm in the shadow. This turns out, it's like one of my favorite pages I've done. I think my art journal may end up being a lot more um, of this type of thing, like where I kind of create a design with um, collage. I like collage a lot. And when I first started doing it, I was so disappointed when I covered it all up, when I covered up all that collage work because <clears throat> I loved all the color and different texture or whatever, you know, the different papers that I used. And then you cover it all up. So it's something I enjoy. So that's what you're going to see from me um, in my art journal because uh, I told you, I'm only going to do it if it's fun, if I'm enjoying it. And then if you like it too, hey, perfect bonus but um, if you don't then please go find something that you do like and um, you know then there's no worries everybody's happy um, that looks good I can actually put it a little bit along the bottom too and black green came to the rescue I really like that. I think it absolutely did what I needed it to do. I could probably put a little bit in the tray. I'm going to put some with my smaller angle brush um, in the like nooks and crannies of the tray here. So what I mean is like um, kind of like under here. up against the house um, <clears throat> kind of where I did it already but um, I'm going to define it a little bit more My brush is splitting because I didn't have enough water. What do you think? Good? Good enough? Oh, right here. Mm-hmm. But look at the, like, depth it kind of gives it, right? And then I could always put that really light green, the apple green, just to highlight right here and right here and right here right and then right here What do you think? That looks good. I am very pleased about it. You know, I could do a little shading on the clouds. I think I'm going to. I think I have that charcoal out, and I'm just going to hit it and see. I'm just going to do it very, very, very lightly. But again, in these areas where, like, it looks like it's kind of overlapping, maybe, well, it's on top of a... Um, the pearl paint so it's not really uh, staying but that looks good just to give it some 
dimension. See? It doesn't really look dirty. Now, the final thing I need to paint is the home sweet home. And I think I'm just going to do it blue on the bottom. I think that's all I'm going to do, like a wash kind of thing like this along the whole bottom. Oh wow, it's too dark. Um, just going to take a paper towel and blot. Perfect. Just to kind of get it to blend into the background and not just be so stark. And then I'm going to outline it and um, I think that that might be it. I'm going to darken up the path a little bit. One more coat like right here. Much better. And underneath on the here. I think it turned out so cute. All right. So now I'm just going to use, um, do I want to do anything else? I'm going to make the door. I'm going to make the door knob. What? What color? White? Or this light pink? I like this little light pink. Ta-da! All right, so I am going to take my, oh, let me just get this paint off my mat, and I'm going to, I should just dry this real quick. I have to decide if I want to use, I'm just going to stick with my Scarlet Lime, I'll show you in a minute. Those are like the most giant flowers ever. <laughs> Look, they're as tall as the door. That's hysterical. But that's why it's whimsical, right? All right, so I'm going to use my Scarlet Lime. I did use this to do a few things because I knew it wouldn't run when I painted over it, but this one is the one I like to outline everything with. Um, I'm going to use this. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to come back and be done. And I'll show you what I did. Be right back. Okay, so here it is. Um, Everything's outlined. I love the shimmer. I think the gold in the sky, those swirls, is perfect. The perfect amount. Um, the flowers crack me up because they're huge, but I love the color that it brings to the piece. I like it. I think it turned out fantastic. I like the way the shading turned out, especially like the dark shading. So I definitely want to play with that more with my, with my pages. So... That's it, you guys. That's the whole thing. And uh, I hope you like that. And like I said, please just do it for fun. You know what? I'm going to actually add stickles to the heart. I think I'm going to put a little glossy accents on the window. And maybe some microbeads. Hmm. You know what I'm going to put, too, is... Um, this distress stickles. I like putting the distress stickles. Like this is a, an excellent. Oop, that was kind of a lot. But like for sand and gravel, I like adding it. It has, it like, it dries more of a mica powdery, not mica powdery, but I can't explain it. But I like it. So I'm putting that there. I could put some on the tree. Maybe a little bit on the tree. 
So yeah, I hope you like it. I signed it August 1st, 2015. And that's it. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.